Hello, this is Scott of Scott's Computer Repair. I'm here to show you how to restore a Dell Inspiron N51102 factory settings. First, turn it on and tap F8 and go to Repair Computer or Computer. Sometimes it takes a while. Finally. That way to the menu comes up so I can select the restore function. <sighs> Slow computer. And it's a quad core. There we go. Next, make sure you select the user on the computer that is registered to the computer. Normally you would have to enter a password if there's a password on the account. If there isn't a password, just leave it blank. Just hit OK. Okay. Then go to Dell Data Safe Restore and Emergency Backup. Then select other system backup or more options. Then re and select, make sure it's like restore my computer. But if, okay, I recommend you backup files before you do this if possible. I don't recommend you don't use the Dell system backup, but I recommend you put like your pictures, documents on, if possible, put them on your flash drive if you have available. And go ahead and hit next because this will wipe all your data and information on your computer and select the factory image and hit next you can preserve the files if you want to I recommend not just start fresh and scratch go ahead and with restore without preserving new or change files and now just go ahead and hit continue 
and then next. This will take some time here at this point. You always want to make sure you have your power cord plugged in on it too. Or they'll tell you or otherwise also. But I always recommend you always have your power cord plugged into the laptop when you do this. You never know how much battery life you have and it messes up in between and you have to start all over again. I'm going to stop the video for right now so I can save some video time on this. I'll turn it back on at least about 90% and it's done. 99% back. Okay, so 
says it's finished, recovery complete, go ahead and hit restart. Now let the computer restart. Boot up normally. Okay. Ugh. All right. It's asking you about your country, region, time, current, and keyboard layout. Just leave that in the way it is. Go next. And type whatever your name you choose. Right now, I'm going to just type in owner. This is a customer's computer. even get a chance to type it in but after you choose your name you don't have to enter a password or whatever I recommend that a password right away go ahead and accept the agreements go next okay had a phone call <laughs> sorry about that okay after you accept the agreements go ahead to uh, hit next I would recommend use recommended sending settings for your updates and stuff go ahead and hit that uh, make sure you select your time zone because he always puts it it's default central uh, time uh, time zone I recommend right now I'm in Eastern time zone that's where I'm at now make sure your time is correct which is not, and I gotta set that to 425. Well, 426 is fine. And date, make sure date time is set right to, which it is on this. And go ahead, hit next. Uh, if you have a Wi Fi, select your Wi Fi. Put your passcode in if you have one. Normally, I recommend you should have one because you don't want anybody in your neighborhood or neighbors getting on your internet because they could download stuff illegally and get you in trouble. And I recommend select home networking. Okay, this is for file sharing and stuff. You can go ahead and skip it. Taking this up all your personal settings. It should take a moment too. Another phone call. 
Sorry again. I'm back. <clears throat> Freaking phone calls. Ah, finally. Okay. And I'll go ahead and set the agreements on this. And go ahead and finish. slow for an i5. This is an Intel Core i5. Jeez. It's very slow for that. My mom's computer is Dell and she has an i, um, i9. A lot faster than this. Okay. All right, it's pretty much done. The recovery is finished. And it does ask me information about McAfee Center, of course. I usually will hit next. Uh, it will ask me to create a data local disk backup. Okay. And it gets hit and just hit fit and hit, keep on hitting next so it goes finished. And you're all set after the factory restore. I will have more videos probably in later on for other computers. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day. Bye.